as we talk this morning, and we put my on vigil. He has sat his vigil all day. May I say good morning? Asking if it is within our power and a proper thing to show. Let's do this! <laughs> <laughs> situation and focuses on good, never harm. I, I read these words and they are David to a team. I, I can think of two personal moments with David that have always stood out in my mind. The first was when I came back after my brief pilgrimage and I sat and took one of David's classes. And Amongst it were people like me who have been around for four years, <laughs> five-digit membership members, and people who were at their first event ever. And it did not matter in David's eyes. He just saw people thirsting for knowledge and treated everyone he's ever come across, to my knowledge, as equals. And I love it. The second which definitely strikes home on the things of good and not hard. I remember, it might have actually been the same event, where we were making scotch balls. <laughs> <laughs> scotch eggs. <laughs> Outside. That's different. Yeah, different. <laughs> well, afterwards, there was still scotch. <laughs> In the snow. In April, outside, and while we, we did have some eyebrows, never once did we utter anything bad. We, we just did. And our my beloved me standing there with an umbrella over the two of us. <laughs> These are memories that, I mean, let's be honest, that was a pretty weird situation that could have had commentary and never once. And for this and essentially all the ages, he is my I could not believe it. Thank you. If you remember the order of the chivalry, we'll speak to David's courtesy and chivalry. There he is. I'm Sarish Lisa Sheetal. I'm of the society, Master of the Pelican. David joined me in Lot Morrow a great many years ago. 
And I did what I always do when someone joins a group. I say, you want to bite one? <laughs> <laughs> and many may remember that David did pick up a rapier and used it in a chivalric fashion of courtesy at all times. I want to speak to a couple more personal things that may not directly relate to the chivalry. David, I have been racking my brain to verify this and not do any other research that I'm too lazy on. You know, that's where we are. But I do believe that David of Lockmorrow is the first person to start in Lockmorrow, continue in Lockmorrow on the edge of our kingdom in a very small group and become a peer of the realm while in Lockborough. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it didn't work on anything harder than that. It stuck, and here we are. And from the day our days is the march of Lockborough through the end of Lockborough, this man has done it all, and he is indeed beyond my peer all his work and everything, and I'm not even going to pretend to talk about his art. <laughs> there are Pelican to speak of David's service. I am Mistress Marie Teresa Ribeiro dos Santos, founding Baroness of the Barony of Illiton. <laughs> I've been around longer than more than half of this court were born. <laughs> and my late husband, Baron Rocky, and David had a number of projects for our barony that they worked very diligently to make a huge box for porcelain dishes. And David very brilliantly burned the top of it to make it beautiful. He has shared his talent with so many people, and he is so generous of spirit. And coincidentally, he is my SCA grandson. And for that, I am very proud. I know Baron Rocky would be very happy up above us, chuckling with joy that this is happening. And so do I. Thank you. <laughs> who would speak to David's generosity. Yes, Your Majesties. I am Melina Anak Gill, Order of the Evergreen, and I would be honored to speak for David. I first met David some years back at a small little event in our barony. It was just upstairs in a quiet little room, and David was teaching pyrography. And I always wanted to learn this, but never seen anyone ever teach it before. And David was such a sweet and humble teacher. He made the class so at comfortable ease that everyone had such a great time and left with this great passion. Over the years, David's become a great mentor and friend. He's taken on several students, myself included, across the known world, several of which have been recently made laurels themselves. As a mentor, David is always offering to encouragement to all who come to him, and never looking for any self-recognition, but always looking for the betterment of those he, that come to him. Thanks to him, many of us have found our true passion in society, our true dream. I have watched him take steps back to let others, like myself, teach in his stead. We go to the same event we we'll both find out that we're going to teach the same class. He takes a step back so that someone else can take a step forward. I, can recognize. I wept this morning when I found out David was being elevated because he is the true embodiment of the Your Majesties. 
and I'm honored to know him, and I only hope my words can do him justice.
are minded to create him a companion of the order of the laurel, to be in all places numbered a peer of our realm. And furthermore, do we confirm upon him by a letter's patent the right to bear arms as duly registered with the College of Arms of the Society, the title of Master, and the right to wear the regalia and badge of this rank, a laurel wreath, <coughs> with all rights, privileges, precedence, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. For Master David, Hassan! 